This video is going to help you with your order of operations. Now, let's say we have the problem three times in parentheses five plus six plus in parentheses four times eight in, and minus two. Now, an acronym that you can use to help you remember your order of operations is PEMDAS. Now, you can also remember, please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. Now, something you can write on the side of your paper is P-E and then M or D. A or S. And then you can write left to right. To remind you that you're going to go from left to right. Now, then you can use this as a checklist as you do your problem. So, we're going to go in and start. So, over on our checklist, the first thing that we have is P, and that stands for parentheses. So, we're going to look for our parentheses. And since we're going to left to right, the first one we have is 5 plus 6. So, we are going to underline it once since that is our first step. Now, 5 plus 6 is 11, so under it we're going to write 11. Now we're going to rewrite the rest of the problem. And we wrote parentheses, but you don't need to. So then plus, in parentheses, 4 times 8. Sorry. And we're using a dot for the multiplication. We just messed because up. Because you could, because when you do variables, it could get confusing if you use the x symbol. Now. We are going to look and see if there are any more parentheses. And obviously there are. We have 4 times 8. So we're going to do that. And since 4 times 8 is 32, and we're going to write, we're going to do two lines under it since it is our second step. So 4 times 8 is 32. And then we're going to rewrite the rest of the problem. And a little dot to remind us it's multiplication. Now, we're going to look and see if we have any more parentheses, which we don't. So we can come over and cross P off of the list since we're done with parentheses. Now the next thing on our list is E, and that stands for exponents. So we're going to see if we have any exponents. Now you can see that we don't have any exponents, so we're going to go ahead and cross that off the list. Now, next we have M or D, which stands for multiplication or division. And since you see 2, you're going to come down here to your rule, left or right. So we're going to look for multiplication or division, left to right. Now, we're going to go across, and the first thing we see is 3 times 11. And we're going to, under, we're going to do 3 lines under that. This is the third step. And as you can see, the answer is 33. Now we're going to rewrite the rest of the problem. Now we're going to look and see if we have any more multiplication or division, which we do not. So we are going to cross that off of the list. Now, next thing on our list is addition or subtraction. And again, since it's two, we're going to go from left to right. So, we have 33 plus 32, we're going to underscore it four times. And I see the answer is 65. I'm going to rewrite the rest of the problem and um, underscore it five times. And obviously the answer is 63.